was in the mood for some emotional damage. This girl. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I am Natalie and today we are watching Up. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you're new. Today, we are diving on into another animated movie and that is Up. I've been in the mood for another animated flick lately since we watched Ratatouille here on my channel. I've just been waiting to dive on into another Disney Pixar film. And just like Ratatouille, I have either seen this movie once before or only seen parts of it. <laughs> but it was years ago when it released. I really don't remember much of it except for the trauma in the beginning of the movie. I do remember some of the trauma. I feel like if you see that once, it sticks with you for the rest of your life. So uh, really excited to revisit that. Other than that though, I really don't remember much about the movie. I know there's a dog and there's a kid and there's balloons and a house. Pretty much exactly how I was going into Ratatouille, just knowing there was a chef and a rat. So um, very excited to watch this one with y'all today. But in all honesty, I wanna keep this intro really short and sweet and just get on into it. So if y'all are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into Up. Let's go Up. Why are a subject today Charles Munt. Oh, he travels around on a blimp? This lighter than aircraft was designed by Munt. Oh, the kid. He travels, he's such a big fan. He's, he travels around in the same helmet. Oh, he traveled with dogs. It's a veritable floating palace in the sky. Oh, wow. And mechanical canine walker. He doesn't even have to walk his dogs? I give you a monster of paradise falls. Scientists cry foul. The National Explorer Society accuses Munts of fabricating this skeleton. Oh. No! I promise to capture the beast, and I will not come back until I do. Oh, did he never return? Here's Charles Munts piloting his famous dirigible. Oh, he's still here. He hears the narrator in his head as he's pretending to be him. That's cute. He hurdles Pike's Peak. <laughs> I don't remember this part of the beginning of the movie. I remember a different thing. Oh. Oh, and a fangirl. What are you doing? <gasps> Jesus Christ. No, not the balloon. Do you think you got what it takes? Well, do you? Uh, uh, yeah, I... All right, you're in. Oh. <laughs> hey, I don't bite. Oh. Oh, my God. The static. You and me, we're in a club now. Grape soda. <laughs> That's so cute. There it is. Oh, good. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no. Aw. Wow, she has good aim, too. So cute. So cute. Dude, this girl's crazy. I have never shot to another human being. Ever. In my life. Okay, girl. <laughs> You will not tell anyone. Okay, I take it back. I don't remember any. Maybe I didn't see this movie at all. Maybe I've just seen a clip from it because this is not ringing a bell whatsoever. I'm going to move my clubhouse there and park it right next to the falls. She she was making vision boards before vision boards were a thing. I'm saving these pages for all the adventures I'm going to have. You can take us there in a blimp. Swear you'll take us. Cross your heart. Cross it. Cross your heart. <laughs> My God, she's so bossy. <laughs> Do it, promise me. You know, you don't talk very much. He doesn't talk at all. I but like it, you. Yeah, it seems. I was gonna say it seems like a really good fit for you, girl. <laughs> wow. Oh, he loves her. Oh, the balloon. Oh, and they got married. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, yeah, I know where this is going. Oh. He's a hard time keeping up with her. <laughs> Babies, oh, all they see are babies, huh? Do they have a kid? Oh God, I'm already getting emotional. This is not good, guys. This is really not good. Oh, oh, they couldn't, oh, okay. <laughs> it's crazy how you can know something is coming and it's still, it's like making it worse. Oh, they have more, the dual income household instead of having kids, oh. Oh, all the accidents. They're never gonna go together, oh my God. <gasps> no! Stop! God damn it! 
Oh, I'm seeing this when I'm like married now and it just hits so much harder. Oh my god. Oh no, she can't make it up the hill. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Oh my god. Oh! Oh god. Oh god. I really thought it could hold it together. <laughs> I don't know myself at all. Oh my god. Uh, uh. Okay, breathe. Breathe, Natalie. Oh. <sighs> the musical theme is just so genius there. Like, it's so simple, but it really hits like the heartstrings so much, you know? Guys, this might be like a really like morbid thing to say. Oh god, he's so old now. <laughs> I do this in the morning. <laughs> That's me, relatable. <laughs> oh, now it's like a <laughs> depressing theme. His world has lost its color. Oh, it's so sad. This is probably a morbid thing to say, but Tyler and I really do. I was going to say joke. It's not even really a joke, but we joke about who's going to die first. Like we, which <laughs> is so f***ed up to say, but we literally argue like, no, I'm going to die first. No, I want to die first. Like, because neither of us want to do this. Do either of you guys do that with your significant other or are we just particularly f***ed up? <laughs> Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, the world's changing so much around him. The handprint. Dude, if anybody breaks that mailbox, I'll kill him. You in the suit. Yes, you. Take a bath, hippie. Take a bath. This is serious. He's out to get your house. Tell your boss he can have our house. Really? When I'm dead. To be fair, it's that guy's fault for starting construction when he knew he couldn't buy this property from this guy. Like, what an idiot. Should have made sure you could buy all the land before you start building something dependent on you needing the house. Are you in need of any assistance today, sir? A little boy scout. I could help you cross your yard? No. I could help you cross your porch? No. <laughs> uh, no, I'm doing fine. Oh. Good afternoon. He's just trying again. The wilderness must be explored. Go, go. Roar! It's like the kid he never had. <laughs> and stop. Parking that right in front of his. Hey! Dude, if anybody breaks that mailbox, I'll kill him. What did I say? What did I you say? Oh, sorry, sir. Don't touch that! No, no, no! Stop! Sir, I, I don't want you to touch him! Oh! Oh! Oh, that's not good. That was not good. But also, to be fair, that guy should have let go of the mailbox, but he didn't deserve to get hit like that. Oh, God. Oh, no, the police. To be fair, just because the police show up doesn't mean you'd lose the house automatically, but I guess he's worried, like, it'll cost money to... Sorry, Mr. Fredrickson. You don't seem like a public menace to me. Take this. The guys from Shady Oaks will be by to pick you up in the morning, okay? What? Wow, things escalated very quickly. That's crazy just because they had better lawyers than him. That's awful. I'm so happy they made a movie like this because it's like such a sad reality that like people, elderly people get like neglected and abused and taken advantage of so often, especially if you didn't have a kid to like, the kid could help take care of you, you know, and protect you. This is like not a story you get see told very often. Oh God. Oh, he crossed his heart. Oh, no. Ah. I'll just, I'm just gonna keep this in my lap, this box of tissues. <laughs> it's just not gonna leave my side. He got to work. Never mind, like, imagine how hard doing something like this would be for an old man. Hell yeah. Yeah, he's gonna lose access to the grid. No, no water and electricity anymore, but that's fine. You get to keep your house. This must be the strongest. S balloon strings ever <laughs> kind of at the mercy of the wind a little bit but <laughs> oh no he oh he built sails never mind just kidding he thought of everything oh yeah the little rooster thing is still there for the compass that's cute 
Is that knocking at the front door? Yeah, he's like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> Where was he? How did he get on this house? In How did he get here? Please let me in. No. No, sir. You gotta let him in. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Hey, look, buildings. That building's so close, I could almost touch it. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, is he gonna try to drop him off on a building? Don't check around so much, kid. Ah! Well, that's not gonna work. <laughs> it was an idea. <laughs> that's great. Mr. Fredrickson, how much longer? Well, we're up pretty high. Could take hours to get down. Huh? Uh oh. <laughs> oh, God. No, his house. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Walk back. Walk back. Okay. He's trying. <laughs> oh my god. The heck are you? Are they out of Paradise Falls already? That'd be funny. Oh, uh, and it's clearing. Oh, they are there. Oh. Dude, I wonder if that, like, guy... No, there's no way he would still be alive because the adventurer guy, he'd, he'd be, like, 40 years older than this old man. So there, he's definitely not still alive. But I wonder if there's, like, people here. We could walk your house to the falls. They're going to walk it? So they have to hold on to it like... The <laughs> oh, my God. Your arms are going to fall asleep. What if the hose breaks? Oh, he made it into, like, a backpack. I see. It's a backpacking trip. Yay. <laughs> Keeps activating his hearing aid. Let's play a game. It's no talking. See who can be quiet the longest. I remember. Cool. My mom loves Yeah, I'm sure she does. I was going to say, I remember when my parents would play that game. In the, and as a kid, like, you think it's actually a game sometimes. And you'd do it for, like, 20 minutes. And then you'd be like, okay, never mind. I need to talk now. Whoa. I'm trying to catch this thing. Oh, it's it's the guy with his dog. Is he still somehow alive? These are his dogs. Is this the monster? Oh no. Oh, they're being called back. Oh no, it was just the it's the hearing aid. Tracks? Oh yeah. Don't don't oh god. Here, snipe. Kid oh no. Oh my god, he's just wandering off. <gasps> he wants the chocolate. Come on out. Eee, he's gonna befriend the bird. Oh, it's big. I found the snipe. Oh my god, we are we ever gonna see the face? Did it like chocolate? Oh yeah, chocolate. Ah! <laughs> There's no such thing as a snipe. But you said snipe oh, oh, hey. He's like, don't take my friend. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Kevin, it's okay. Kevin, his name is Kevin. That's what we're calling him. He does look like a Kevin for some reason. It looks like there's no... Oh! <laughs> yeah, bad idea. Ooh, it looks like there's nothing going on behind its eyes. Hey, stop. <laughs> <laughs> He's just mimicking him. That's so cute. Go annoy someone else for a while. Hey, are you okay hey, over there? There's a person? It's nice to know someone else is up here. I can smell you. No, that seems like a, a rock. Is this the dog? This is the dog, isn't it? Hey, that one looks like a turtle. Aw. Look at that one. That one looks like a dog. Like the clouds. Oh, it is a dog. There it is. To have dogs in my apartment. Oh my god, relax. You're scared of a dog, but you're not scared of a giant predatory looking bird. Sheik. Oh. Speak. Hi there. <gasps> my name is Doug. I have just met you and I love you. <laughs> I'm a great tracker. Did I mention that? Oh! <laughs> hey, that is the bird. Uh. I've never seen one up close, but this is the bird. Uh-huh. I can see why you weren't with the other doggos. Let's get to the falls. <laughs> 
Please be my prisoner. Please be my prisoner, please. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, I can't, yeah, I see why he's off on his own. He's not as good as the other ones. I'm excited for, like, Carl to put together whose dogs these belong to. No. Soon enough, the bird will be ours yet again. Beta, gamma. Mayhaps you desired... Squirrel! Squirrel! Mayhaps you just... <laughs> Where are you? I am here with the bird, and I will bring it back, and then you will like me. Oh, and then you will like me. Uh-oh. They've got trackers. Oh, no. The mean dogs are coming. Can Kevin go with us? All right, he can come. Promise you won't leave him? Yeah. Cross your heart? Oh, God. Cross my heart. Oh. Oh. Just when I think I'm like, calm down. I got myself into Ellie. This is Ellie's way of helping you heal, dude. It looks like they're in the same spot as they started from, honestly. <laughs> the alarm clock, it's like an alarm frog. She has been gathering food for her babies and must get back to them. Wait, Kevin's just uh. leaving. <laughs> Say goodbye to in three different ways. <laughs> oh, dog. There's no animals on this island except for a crazy bird and some talking dogs. <laughs> Poor dog. Doug looks so sad. He's like, I feel bad. Oh, the bird's up there. Oh. Yeah, because it's a flightless bird. How many of them are? Oh my God. Was it like a mistake when he bred Doug? Cause all these dogs look terrifying. And then he just, what? He bred like a fat golden retriever. <laughs> oh, he looks so sad. He's the outcast. Oh, the balloons are deflating. All right, listen, Ellie probably would forgive you if you didn't make it to exactly this right spot, but she probably doesn't want to be here. <laughs> There's no way. Hey. Oh yeah, months. How is this dude still alive? That doesn't even make sense. You came here. In that? Uh, yeah. How is this guy still alive? Wait, are you Charles once? Yeah, well, uh, <clears throat> yes. Wow. Everything's come full circle. I hope it's not one of those scenarios where it's like, never meet your idols, you know? Hopefully this goes well. These people are no longer intruders. They are our guests. Yay! Yay! Oh, oh, now the dogs are cute. Oh, poor dog. Look at him, he's just cowering in the back. We're not actually going inside the spirit of adventure itself. Oh, uh, would you like to? Yeah, Oh. Oh, I really hope this guy is not a villain. I think he will be because of the way Doug's acting. What do we do with Doug? He has lost the bird. Put him in the cone. No, not the cone of shame. Stop abusing Doug. I do not like the cone of shame. Poor Doug. Use my shaving kit to bring him down. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, surprise me. Only way. Oh, was that a menu? Surprise me? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> my God, his dogs are like servants. This is impressive. I gotta train my dogs better. Excellent choice. Yeah. Ah! Woo hoo! Sorry, with uh, Roosevelt. Has a hard time pouring, but, you know, that's understandable. There you go, big fella. Thank you, Master. Oh, he's so, he's so intimidating. Because Epsilon is the finest chef I've ever had. He's, and, I mean, he's gotta be like, he's gonna become the antagonist just because his desire is to. Hey. Oh! Hey. Ah! <laughs> just because his whole goal is to capture this bird that Carl has sworn to protect with this kid. I'd hate to impose. No, no, it's a pleasure to have guests. A real. I feel like after all these years. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh! But once I bring back this creature, my name will be cleared. Beautiful, isn't it? He's putting it together now. He's figuring it out. Hey, that looks like Kevin. Uh-oh. Kevin? Yeah, that's my new giant bird pet. <coughs> I trained it to follow us. Follow you? But it ran off. It's gone now. Uh-oh. You know, Carl... These people who uh, pass through here, they all tell pretty good stories. Oh, are all these goggles and helmets like 
from the people that he's killed. Oh no, he's the villain now. He's full blown. Oh no. An old man taking his house to Paradise Falls. But he really is doing that. Oh my God. Never meet your heroes, guys. We have so much more to talk about. Oh, oh, Kevin. Kevin? Uh oh. Kevin, why? It's here. Get them! I love how they got a little head start. They really needed it. Ah! Oh, you're gonna you're gonna trying to outrun him? Oh no, that's not gonna happen. Master! Over here! Oh, we're calling him master now! Doug's like my old master. He never did nothing for me but put me in the cone of shame. Oh god, the house. Russell! Ah! Ooh! Doug! I will stop the dog! Doug! Stop you dogs! Okay, that didn't work, Doug. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. I really wonder where this I feel like this house is not gonna end up in the exact spot that he's aiming for it to end up in, but it's gonna end up being okay, I think. I mean, maybe it will, but the reason I say that is I feel like we gotta have like another dark moment for Carl to go through, and it also just doesn't look good with all the balloons popping. No! Oh god, it's the- Oh! I mean, they'll all be fine. They'll be fine. I, I still don't want any dogs to die, okay? Kevin! <laughs> oh no. The babies. <laughs> oh, you can't walk though. Kevin, she's hurt real bad. Can't we help her get home? Oh, you have to now. Oh, that's what Ellie would want you to do. Then we sit on this one curb right outside. And I'll count all the blue cars, and he counts all the red ones. And whoever gets the most wins. I like that curb. Oh. That might sound boring. No, it sounds cute. I think the boring stuff is the stuff I remember the most. Yeah. That's such a wise statement. Like, it's the little things that you cherish in the end, you know? That's it. Go, Kevin. Go find your baby. Uh-oh. No, yeah, they're gonna have, yep, they're gonna have to set Kevin free. They're gonna have to break her out. Oh no. Get away from my bird. Oh no, he's going for his house. Oh my God. That's just horrible. <laughs> Oh my god. That is just a, such a particularly evil thing to do, just set his house on fire. And I don't even blame him, like, for going to put it out. Like, I know the kid is going to be disappointed because he made a promise to protect Kevin, but it's like, oh, that's such an evil thing to do. Oh, wait, Kevin. It's such a great way to, like, raise the stakes in that moment. This is none of my concern. Yeah, now he's going through the, the real sh now, the dark night of the soul. And if you hadn't have shown up, none of this would have happened. Bad dog, bad dog. Oh, poor dog. <sighs> yeah, he can't be at peace because, yeah, it's not what Ellie would have wanted. She'd want you to go help the kid, you know. Oh, she did add something to it. Oh, she added more to the book. Yeah, that was the life adventure that she had. He like feels so sad that he, she didn't they didn't get to come here together, but this is also like a beautiful adventure, you know? Being able to be with the person you love and grow old with them. Oh. Yeah, she's like, let you gotta let go of me a little bit and go help this kid, you know? Oh, he's decided to go off. Russell! I'm gonna help Kevin! With the leaf blower. Oh, God. <laughs> Bro, the house is gonna stay here. You don't need to take the house with you. 
You just gotta do what Kevin did. Take the balloons. You leave the house. Oh, no. He's gonna... <laughs> oh, that's actually really beautiful. He's letting go of everything. He's actually letting go and having the next chapter of his life begin. Oh, my God. Everything. Wow. And their chairs! Oh my god! Oh, that's so beautiful! You know? Because it, it doesn't matter whether he has the things that remind him of his wife. It's about, you know, she lives on in his heart. Oh, that's so sweet. Ooh. What? Is it Doug? Is it somehow Doug? <laughs> Doug! I was hiding under your porch because I love you. Well, you're my dog, aren't you? And I'm your master. You are my master. Oh, dog. Dog. Oh, my God. Dude, this kid is fearless. This is crazy. <laughs> my man is riding a leaf blower. <laughs> They're playing poker. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's so good. Where's your elderly friend? He still has the leaf blower. I'm not finished with you. Nice talking with you. No way. He's evil, dude. Like setting the house on fire is, is pretty bad, but releasing a kid into the sky is so, so bad. Is he gonna lasso it? Oh, hell yeah, zip line. Dude, this old man is the strongest old man of all time. Hey, that's great. Who wants the ball? <laughs> ah! That's amazing. I got it. Oh, they're so cute, though. Ray Leader, take down the house. Ah! Uh oh. Well, they're not actually in the house yet, just the kid is. They're flying planes. Oh my god. With little bone joystick controls. Shooting at a kid, my god, dude. Yeah, <laughs> he just extended the cane. Any last words, Fredrickson? Come on, spit it out. The dentures. It makes sense that, like, I feel kind of bad for this guy in a way because it makes sense why he'd want this bird so badly. Yeah, Doug. Like he's been stuck trying to like heal his ego for all these years to like prove that he wasn't a liar. Oh, is he gonna? Is that how he's gonna go out? Is he gonna fall out months? Oh no, wait, we're gonna go out. Oh, we're gonna escape that way. Yeah, I bet months is gonna fall off his own blimp. Oh, Doug, no. The cone of shame, yeah. <gasps> he wears the cone of shame. <laughs> Just continue sitting. Attack! Good job, dog. Listen, you dog. Sit. Oh, he's the alpha. He's the alpha now. I am not alpha. He is. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You're the alpha now, dog. Hell yes. Squirrel. Squirrel. Where? 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 <laughs> oh, I feel bad. Oh, good, little parachutes. I love how even in this movie with the dogs being evil, you can't let any dogs die though, still. You can't, they're too, they're too cute. Rizzo, hang on to Kevin, don't let go of her! What are we gonna do? Chocolate! Chocolate! Ah. Yep. <laughs> Goodbye. You deserve it, asshole. That's the thing. You had to have him like be so desperate that he's doing all these extremely awful things like shooting at a kid and setting a house on fire, like being so evil so that like you're okay with him dying like that. Oh, I am ready to not be a pop. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's the alpha. So it's good. All the dogs will listen. Oh yeah, goodbye. Sorry about your house, Mr. Fredrickson. Oh. You know, it's just a house. It's just a house, that's right. Oh. I'm receiving their badges, the following explorers. Oh, we get to see his little ceremony. That's great. For assisting the elderly. 
<laughs> he didn't take a shower. Is there someone that... His dad still couldn't make it? Are you kidding me? Don't make me cry. Pardon me. Old man coming through. Oh, that's sweet. I'm here for him. Oh, that's really sweet. I would like to award you the highest honor I can bestow. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Don't tell me the house is there. Oh my god, I can't! Oh, oh wow. Yeah, I definitely, I had not seen this whole movie because I, I did not think I was going to be like this emotional, honestly. <sighs> I should have expected nothing less, but holy crap. I like seeing the credit perspective, like the adventure book is filled with all these new memories now. Teaching him how to use a computer. <laughs> Puppies! And he's so much happier than, you know, when at like the beginning of the movie when he was alone without Ellie. That's so sweet. <laughs> oh, God, I'm going to be crying the rest of the day now, aren't I? I uh, okay. <laughs> Figured we had so much of doggos in a movie that I had to uh, come snuggle my doggo. <laughs> he doesn't really love being held, but Ridley kind of gives Doug vibes a little bit. I mean, Doug is a little more happy-go-lucky, I think. You're a little more anxious. This movie was so sweet, and I think after watching it, I can confidently say that actually I had never seen this. I'm pretty sure I've just seen a clip of the part where we're transitioning from them living together as an old happy couple to her dying. Like, I knew that was coming in the movie, and I'm pretty sure I had just seen a trailer because I, I knew about, like, a talking dog. That was kind of it. So I really didn't know where this movie was going to go or what it was going to be like. And as usual with most Pixar films, I was playing pleasantly surprised. I really love that they decided to tell a story of this perspective from like an older person because I do feel like oftentimes elderly people are really overlooked and this, oh God, I'm gonna cry if I start talking about it. Oh no. Okay, keep it together, Natalie. Huh. I feel like this part of life, it's so important to address losing somebody that you love because it's going to happen to pretty much all of us at some point. If you're lucky enough to marry the love of your life, inevitably one of you is going to go before that other person. I said I wasn't going to cry again and I'm really trying not to. Oh boy, it's just making me emotional because like Tyler and I do <laughs> make comments about this all the time. Neither of us really want to be without the other person or have to like deal with that grief alone. And so I really liked getting to see a story like that play out on screen with this whole theme of adventure and that adventure can have multiple meanings. Just because you had these grand plans and like bucket list items for your adventure and for your life doesn't mean that if you don't get to do those that all the other lovely moments that you had together along the way wasn't in and of itself an adventure. And I like that we kind of mentioned that two times throughout the movie. Like we had the moment with the kid saying that one of his favorite moments with his dad is when they would go to scouts meetings together and then go and get ice cream and sit on the curb and count the red and blue cars. It really hammers home the fact like all these small moments with Ellie growing old together, just sitting on their porch together or sitting in chairs together, going on little picnics, um, living their life was a beautiful journey and a beautiful adventure. And now just because you're closing that chapter of your life and moving on into the next doesn't mean that it can't still hold a special place in your heart, but clinging to it when it's over and not living in the present and not enjoying the things that are happening around you or in celebrating the new relationships in your life. Like if you just cling to the past and cling to the grief, you'll never move on and you won't live the rest of your life happily. So I think her filling out that adventure book and that moment coming in when it did was so beautiful. And I, I almost thought that he was never going to get the house to Paradise Falls because I knew that wasn't really the point. I knew he was going to have to let that idea go. So I kept thinking, oh, something's going to happen and it's going to cause him to be really sad and go into a dark night of the soul moment. And I don't know how he'll get pulled back out of that, but I thought he would never make it. But I think it was a really interesting choice that he, in fact, did make it to Paradise Falls and then got to sit with that for a moment and he wasn't really happy in that moment. It didn't really fix everything. So then for him to open that adventure book and realize that, oh, actually like that part of my life is over and I'm moving on to the next. And that doesn't mean that I'm leaving those memories behind or doing them a disservice. It's just the next chapter. And this is what my wife would have wanted. It's so beautiful. Oh, I said I wasn't going to cry again. It's just hard with a movie like this because it really does tug at the heartstrings in such an intense way because like it's so easy to relate to. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's too easy to relate to, okay? I also love this idea like that they tried to have kids and discovered that they couldn't, but they had their beautiful life together. And then for this kid to come in as the next chapter of his life, and this kid who also needs him, like right? Like he doesn't have his father in his life enough, so... Carl can serve as that father figure to him and they can be the healing that each other needs. It's really beautiful and sweet. I enjoyed this a lot. And also just having all the dogs too is just such a cute little layer of texture. Like I, I really like how cozy and non-threatening this movie feels. Like sometimes in the Pixar films, like the villains are really terrifying. In this like, Yes, Muntz is awful, but like all of his goons, all of his dogs are like so cute and it's it's funny and it always kind of feels like playful to a certain extent. And even when they're fighting each other, it's like two old men <laughs> fighting each other and there's funny moments in that with their backs seizing up and stuff. And it's kind of interesting in a way too because like if he had never become a fan of Muntz, he never would have met his wife, Ellie. So that brought him immense joy, but then also that led him to Muntz becoming like a a real villainous, horrible figure later on for him. But that also created an incentive to then go help this kid and save this bird, which started this new adventurous chapter in his life. So he's an awful villain, but he really created a lot of important moments for this protagonist. And the theme, the musical theme is just like so simple and so genius. It's so light and sweet. And I like the different variations that we got of it throughout the entire movie. Although it was very manipulative, okay? It made me cry every time I heard it. It was, I was getting worked up. You didn't need to do that much Pixar, okay? You could have eased up on the gas a little bit with the musical theme. This is just one of those ones that I feel like I'm gonna think about for the rest of the day and, and cry. So uh, I gotta find a way to go calm down. I'm gonna go hug my dogs and hug my husband and try not to think about this <laughs> for a while because it's definitely really emotional and I'm already getting worked up again just talking about it. But I really enjoyed watching this one and I hope that y'all enjoyed watching it with me as well. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I can check out more things like this in the future with all of y'all. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.